Wonder Woman was supposed to be protecting the woman who was carrying Zeus's new child, but she failed. Welcome to the Complete Story Series. We take trade paperbacks and single issues and we break them down into digestible bites to help you understand. Then we read a dramatic debate to you. All alterations to the panels, text, and images are to prevent copyright problems and all art is owned by its respective companies. Today we're going to be continuing our story of Wonder Woman brought to you by Brian Azzarello. This story takes place in the first half of Volume 2, where Wonder Woman has to go into hell itself to rescue Zola because she is carrying the child of Zeus. Don't forget guys, all female voices are being brought to you by a female voice actress, and you can find all of her links in the description down below. Now, let's go find out how Wonder Woman gets into hell to save somebody. Things begin with a man named Eros, the god of sexual desire and attraction, turning his guns on Hermes, Wonder Woman, and Lennox. Hermes looks at him. We need a favor. A favor? Anything for you, uncle, he says embracing Hermes. Wonder Woman explains that she is looking for a woman named Zola that is carrying the child of Zeus and has been kidnapped by Hades. In order to get into Hades, she'll need to talk to the smith, the one that makes all of the gods' weapons, and Eros knows where the smith is. He is his father, after all. He brings Wonder Woman and her team down to Hephaestus' forge, where they request weapons to combat against Hades. Wonder Woman takes armor, a sword, and a shield, and then Hephaestus hands her Eros' pistols. Prepared for battle with Hell itself, Hermes teleports her down there, and what she finds is a place with a red sky and stone structures all over. Huh, not what I was expecting. Diana says looking around. It never is. Every time I come here, it's different. And clearly, he's expecting you. That's when Diana sees all hell has been made to look like London. I can't get over the emptiness. I figured, well, the dead would be everywhere. They are. Where are they? Everywhere. That's when Hermes shows her that all of hell is made from the souls that it claims. They are the floor, the walls, the statues. And that's when a man riding a horse with no skin comes charging at her. They both hit the ground dodging him and Hermes cuts open the horse's stomach with his claws. Next, Hades sends in more skinless corpses at her and Hermes. But random corpses are easy for Diana to take care of. Moving deeper into hell, Diana and Hermes happen onto a forest, which has a farm a little ways in. Out of the front door steps Zola herself, a little more pregnant than when she was first kidnapped. Hermes? Wonder Woman! She yells out overjoyed. I never gave up hope. Not after the first week or all the months. Never. Hermes walks over and tells her that it's been too long and it's time for everyone to get out of here. But that's the moment that Hades steps forward. He rises from the nearby fireplace and he begins to walk towards Hermes and Wonder Woman. I was promised a queen, Wonder Woman, and if you haven't convinced Hera to marry my brother or I, then I will have Zola and her child. But perhaps we can alter the trade. Those are Eros' gun, are they not? If you hand me those, you can leave with Zola and the child. I have your word. Of course, I'll have what I want. Let's go, Zola. But as Wonder Woman leaves with everyone, Hades calls out to her, and then he opens fire with Eros' pistol onto her. She raises her braces to block it, but it goes right through her arm guards and through her forearm and into her chest, penetrating her heart. Diana hits the ground and Hades tells Hermes, the messenger of the gods, to inform the family there will be a wedding. Hermes takes Zola and they leave. They return to Hephaestus and he has an idea. It would be rude to show up to the wedding without a gift, wouldn't it? Back in hell, Hades has his former wife, Persephone, help prepare Diana for her wedding. He tries to make her happy by giving her a view of Paradise Island, the home of the Amazons, a reminder of what she enjoys. But it stinks because Diana remembers that she left Amazon Island not on good terms and she allows tears to run down her face. Meanwhile, Hades is sitting on his throne, a throne which his father, Kronos, is bolted to and his father's stomach has been torn open, never to be satisfied as he can never fill his belly. Strife arrives to her uncle's wedding to express her happiness to her uncle and he offers her wine from his father's tear ducts and doesn't understand Strife's happiness. But why wouldn't she be happy? She wants her uncle to be happy in love, and she has an idea to ensure that it happens this time. Hephaestus, Lennox, and Eros all arrive on the shores of Hell, and they marvel at the amount of souls that Hades has had arrive as his own family has refused the trip down here. Hades then arrives to pick up his bride on skinned horses draped in armor. They then ride in front of all of Hell's prisoners, Hades' subjects. This is so beautiful. It's all I could want in a wedding, my lord. That's very kind of you to say. My words weren't meant to just be kind. I'd like to be honest with you. I'm incapable of love. I don't believe that. 
Well, it's been brought to my attention that you may not actually love me, and that this could be an elaborate ruse on your part, used to secure the freedom of the mortal girl. That would be very foolish of me, Lord Hades. Indeed. You realize that I would find Zola again and drag her back down here with the child. I do. Not yet, my dear. We haven't reached the altar. And it is at the altar that Wonder Woman sees the source of all of these questions. Hades has her own lasso there, ready to force the truth out of her. Does she love him? Or is this just a trick? Allowing one of Hades' followers to tighten the noose around her neck, Hades asks her, Do you love me, Wonder Woman? Diana pauses. Hell, I do love you. Hades smiles. Then it's settled! But Diana's plan finally kicks into action, and she pulls the noose, taking her lasso down, and then she jumps off the altar, landing back on her horse. I won't be bound that way to any man, woman, or god. And she rides through Hades' subjects as he calls to her through them. Do you know where you are? You can't escape me! With the souls of the damned clinging at her, trying to pull her back, she rides towards the exit, and she leaps over the walls and obstacles that Hades has placed in her path. That's when Hades' daughters jump on her, women with dog faces demanding that she has to stay and love him. But Diana knocks the girls back, and one of them lands in front of Hephaestus, Lennox, and Eros. I'd say the wedding is off. Just as good. Diana then leaps over the rest of the corpses and lands in front of her friends. As she turns back to Hades in the altar, she sees a wave of blood come crashing down towards her. And in that wave of blood is a massive skinless beast trying to eat Diana. Her own personal hell to be consumed by Hades over and over for all of eternity. And that's when strife bursts out of the creature's mouth, holding Diana and bringing her back to the ground. Hades walks out holding Eros' guns. You lied to me! I didn't lie. I love everyone. That's ridiculous. So Wonder Woman can't love me even with Eros' pistols? You could fire them at anyone and get the same results. You can't make anyone love you unless you love yourself. Just go, Hades says, turning his back to everyone, and he drops the pistols to the ground. Hephaestus hands Hades a gift, and everyone loads back up in the boat to leave the area for good. But as they sail away, Diana takes Eros' pistols one last time to fire them back into hell, just as Hades is opening up his gift. His gift is a mirror in which he can see himself, just as the bullet flies through his own heart, making him love what he sees. And that is part one of volume two to the Wonder Woman storyline. I hope you guys enjoyed it and we will be coming back with part two. I hope to actually bring you a bi-weekly Wonder Woman story and we'll try our best to do that. She's not super popular, but I personally really love this story and I want to bring it to you guys. I'm Benny the Comic Story and if you enjoyed this video, make sure you check out the other ones on the screen right now and I'll see you next time right here.